Welcome to an Ashley a day. Hooray! Hey everybody, welcome to Ashley a day, day fifty Day 57, 58, and 59. I know this one covers three days, and it wasn't technically an Ashley a day, but like I've told you, I had four tests this week, and today was my last day of tests, so I'm done! There's like freedom! And then I came back to my room after my class, and I took a nap because I was exhausted. Uh, as you can tell, I'm all like gross and I need a shower and I've been breaking out because I've been super stressed over these tests, but they are done and I think I did pretty well on them considering, uh, I know my mom, she texted me this morning like, Ashley, where's my Ashley a day? I'm in withdrawal. And I was like, mom, I have tests. So, like, I kind of have to put things like this aside and I will catch up on them, like I'm back. I would have failed completely if I didn't come back. That is what I've decided. I mean, I decided that at the very beginning too, that if I have to, for some reason, take a break, I fail if I don't come back. So yes, I'm back to daily, at least for now. I don't think I'll have a bunch of tests like this again. I know at the very end of the semester I have three tests in one day, but I don't know, we'll see how that goes. That's way later. All I know is that it's now two weeks till spring break and I'm excited because there won't be any school. That's all I care about. I'm also trying to decide whether I want to go to class tomorrow because it's technically an optional class. And he told, he's told us this normally on Fridays we have a quiz. But since we had a midterm at the beginning of the week and we didn't have class Wednesday, so now no no class or optional class tomorrow where we're just gonna watch videos about psych studies and everything, I'll probably go because it's extra credit. So yeah, meh. I'm a nerd because technically it's unofficial down here at U of I, and if you don't know what unofficial is, it's unofficial St. Patrick's Day, and I've never found the point of it. It's just pretty much people get drunk starting like five people I've heard I've overheard people saying that they're gonna start drinking tomorrow at 5 a.m. 5 o'clock in the morning I don't even get up that early why would you start drinking that early it's so stupid and people do it all weekend and I've never understood the fascination with drinking but whatever I am probably just gonna go watch them and make fun of people stumbling around all night Yep, that's my take on unofficial. As I mentioned, I had an interview. On Monday night, I had an info night for that company. At first, I was nervous going in because I was like, I, I hate talking to people in person because I never know what to ask or what to talk about and I always have these awkward silences. So I was like, ah, oh, freaking out over that. And then it ends up being an info night, so it wasn't as bad. But after that info night, I was talking with one of our friends who's applying for the same position and it's an IT position. And after he was talking, it seemed like I did not have the qualifications for this job or the internship. So I was freaking out thinking, you know, I, I probably probably just won't get the internship. I'm not gonna go to the interview anyway, I mean it's too late to decline it now. I went in in a mindset that I'm probably not gonna get it, I'll still try, but it actually helped calm me down. Going into interviews and you're trying to be your best, you're really nervous and your heart rate's going and you're just ugh, like, I, I was a little bit like that but not as much as I would be. And going through the interview, my interviewer talked a lot. I don't know if he's normally one for interviews, this is the first time for an internship for the company in the IT section. They tried last summer, I guess, but they didn't end up doing it. I mean, hopefully the best. I I asked questions and we talked and he seemed really nice and he seemed to like me, I but I don't know. I'm hoping to get a good response. If not, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'll find something else to do this summer. I, I went in thinking I wouldn't get it and so hopefully that either helped. I mean, it helps either way. It either helped me relax and have the interview go better than I th it would have or it helps me in the fact that I didn't get it, but that's okay. I wasn't sure I was going to get it anyway. So, it's positive overall. That's pretty much my three days in summary was just tests and interviews. And like I said, I think all the tests went well. The one that I thought was going to be the hardest was my bad on 300, and that one was probably one of the easier ones, surprisingly. I hope to see you tomorrow on day 60 in a new month. It'll be March. We're done with February now. Ah, that's so weird. Okay, so we're two twelfths of the way done through an Ashley a day. So basically we're one sixth of the way done with an Ashley a day. It feels good knowing that. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow on day 60, which will be March 1st. But until then, goodbye! And another thing, after going to the info night and feeling that I wasn't, I didn't have the adequate, adequate skills set needed to be an IT person, I started actually learning code by myself online, and it's actually pretty fun. I do it through uh, codeacademy.org or something like that. I know I the first one I went to was code.org, and then you sign a petition to try to get more coding classes into schools that don't offer them. I don't know if you've seen the whole videos with Mark Zuckerberg and uh, Bill Gates. I'll put a link in the description below. But yeah, I, I think it's pretty fun, and it's always useful, and... I think it's pretty cool, just saying.